The next piece to address is the elevator control arm. Again, this one came set up for a fly bar head. Uh, the little conversion comes with a couple of pieces to extend that out. comes with a longer bolt. So what you need to do is push the pin out of this, and I've already taken the pin out, so that this can come apart. There's a bolt that goes through here that secures the, the ball link. You take that out. Take the stepped aluminum sleeve, push that in. Now I had to actually um, sand on that a little bit because it fit really, really tight. Put the screw through it, and then you're going to tighten this down until it seats into this aluminum piece. Makes it, basically, it just makes it longer. Uh, so you put that back in, get that tight, and then you're going to put this back together. So when you put this back together, you need to be careful that there are two bearings in the, in the A-arm. They need to have the flanges on the inside. Uh, it doesn't really matter which direction this goes at this point because this link can still turn once you get it in the model. Uh, the other thing about this pin, I recommend you put some uh, thread lock, probably the green type, on the outside edge and then use a toothpick to put some on the inside of the other side when you push it through. Uh, this, doesn't, this doesn't fit so tight that I'm not so sure it can't vibrate out. Uh, I suppose I could put some CA in the center of this or put some sort of um, uh, set screw in it, but I'm going to use uh, thread lock instead on the outside. That way it's removable at a later time in case I need to take this apart. Next we're going to build the motor frame. Uh, for that you need the motor frame. Notice that the, uh, this is directional. Uh, the front part of this is different on the top versus the bottom. It's uh, more open. This channel is more open. This is actually where the motor mount goes, uh, the front motor mount. So you want to make sure uh, you get this right. Um, these are the two supports. They're going to go into these slots. They really only fit one way uh, and they're going to be bolted together with M3 bolts. All right, when this is bolted together, uh, again, directional, the open area in the front versus the angled area. The side frame supports bolt into the slots in the back of the frame. These fit pretty much only one way. Uh, they're bolted in with M3 bolts. Don't tighten these or, or thread lock these just yet. And the bearing block is going to go between these at the top. The bearing opening uh, faces up so that if the bearing were going to fall out, it would come out this way. Now, I've put a bolt in here to hold this just to show you where it goes. This bolt doesn't go in at this point. It's going to go in in a couple of steps. But I wanted to show you how this fits together.